avatars in this game that change your aesthetic appearance in game are just dropped as normal items all right hey, yo what is up guys you just rick here and we're gonna be playing some more on my paladin character i know this is just a knight character for now but uh uh we'll be making this into a paladin once i get to level 20 which is when you get your first job change a lot of things has happened since the first video guys um I've done a lot of channel updates. I thought I should mention right at the start. I've made a Facebook page. You guys can check the link in the description below and add uh, add me on Facebook or like me on Facebook actually, and to be updated to any kinds of things, uh, you know, related to the channel or videos and games like that. So, just letting you guys know that. Aside from that, guys, we've been streaming the game a ton as well. So you guys can check the Twitch in the description below. And there's a link to my Twitch channel as well. We're playing a lot of Dark Blood lately because I've said that this is going to be like my main game. I think I'm going to make this my staple game um, like C9 was in the past. I think this one is going to be uh, one as well as DFO when that comes out. So really excited about this game, but I've mentioned that plenty of times already. But anyway, guys... Um, I did mention that this class is going to be a paladin, and I kind of wanted to spend a little bit of time talking about how the class system works in this game. There are four base classes right now, those being the knight, warrior, mage, and hunter. Very cliche classes, but each of those subclasses can actually divide into um, and job change into two different classes that are uh, like similar, but you know, obviously different. For instance, the knight can job change into either the Paladin or Crusader job changes and those um, jobs actually signify um, different levels of skills that you will get for that class so for instance um, if I go into Paladin skill tree um, I won't get any of the Crusader now we'll all share the same base skills as the Knight but um, they are very specialized in that sense so they're kinda similar um, they all have different skills so it's not like you know you're gonna be copying the same experience. Now I should also mention that the classes are determined by what type of weapon you use and each subclass also has two different weapons um, kind of designed for the specialized classes. For instance the Paladin pretty much always uses the mace and uh, Crusader always uses the sword. And the weapons themselves actually have kind of unique properties to them. For instance I'm using a mace right now, very slow weapon, but comes with the fact that it obviously does more damage and actually has a lot more y-axis range so um, I can hit enemies that aren't even on the same plane as me often which is not the case with the sword the sword is a much faster weapon but um, is more directed towards the um, frontal area I guess you can say now that same sort of feature happens in DFO as well in most games of this genre um, so Nothing too special there, but I thought it was pretty cool that if you like a certain type of weapon, that will usually dictate what job you're going to go for. Um, and the skills are kind of revolved around that. So just know that you get your own set of skills. So uh, just don't think you're going to be copying the same skills. So it's worth it, I think, to try the two different subclasses just to see what you like. Long-winded way of me saying um, that the classes are pretty in-depth and they have a ton of skills. I can't really show them off on this character, but um, when you get to the higher levels, you will actually see that you have tons of skills. And we'll bring up the skill menu here. These are all the base skills that all knights share. Um, those being like thrust and guard and all that basic skills. But you also have this buff and passive uh, skill tree that you should look at. This in particular can get pretty in-depth. And along the right side are actually cancels, so you can cancel your skills into one another. So those are things that you may overlook if you're just looking at the skill window. I thought I should mention that, so uh, obviously you are not missing out on all of these like cancel and really important passive skills. Um, the rest of those are kind of like uh, damage increase and defense increases, just normal passives that you're used to. And I'll have you know that uh, this SP in this system, or or in this game, the A it's called AP in this game, it's actually really like limiting. You do not get too much AP and you have the capacity to ruin your build completely. So I'll have you know, maybe do a little research or planning beforehand before you start dumping points into it. Now lastly, I should mention about the skill system that you do get a skill reset at level 20 so you can t test around. Um, so at level 20 you will job change and thus get your skill reset. So. Um, I'd say before then you can just test around all you want and see any skills that you like and then for your job actually subclass then you got to be careful I guess so find a very creative boss here and uh, has 
females attached to it, like two of them. It's really weird. If you look, even a pair of legs is like sticking out for his like ears or something. I have no idea what's going on with this guy. All right, budding. See ya. But anyway, guys, I just wanted to go over the classes real quick, and uh, yeah, I think I'm gonna jump on another character so we can see a little bit of different gameplay. So I'm gonna jump on my Crusader real fast. All right, guys, we're gonna be moving on to my Crusader class, and I realize that the job changes. All right, level 20, so she really is just a knight, but since she's using a sword, I'm going to be calling her Crusader anyway, so. But, um, you'll see that, like I mentioned, the attack of this weapon is much faster, but its Y-axis range can miss out on enemies if you're not, like, um, lined up with them appropriately, so. Um, but I do like this class. It has different types of skills. When you actually job change, it'll, it'll have much more rapid attacks, obviously, and, um, honestly it has some good AoEs with it, so. The job change kind of covers over the fact that the sword doesn't have too much range, so it gives you skills that give extra range, so it's pretty cool. And there's a launch right there. Yes, there are very complex juggle systems in this game and relaunch combos, and that's one thing I gotta say about this game is its PvP is phenomenal, and I think I mentioned it last time in the first initial video, but its, it's PvP is honestly something that I'm going to be doing a lot, but you guys got to give me a little bit of time while I level up and get some stuff, because, uh, and there is a move that hits on the ground, there are not too many of those. Uh, I want to level up a little bit, maybe go into the dueling system that happens at level 30, which a lot of people are racing towards that right now, so, um, expect to see some content on that, guys. I'm not just going to level up this, this, uh, character and not play the PvP, because the game, um, really does that a lot and I do some duels sometimes on the streams as well so if you again want to follow me on twitch you guys can be updated as to when I do that but moving swiftly along we're in a different region now we're going up this mountain and the stages by now are getting significantly longer I mentioned in the first video that the stamina for the first day is really 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 limiting like you will not get much playtime in but I mentioned that if you go a little bit past that and you go into dungeons like this um, much longer stages here so you get a lot more game time and these only get harder and harder as we move along and speaking of harder let me tell you the the, the harder dungeons on the higher levels like uh, my main character is like level 27 when you get to that point guys <laughs> it gets difficult I know right now it looks like I'm just breezing through this um, but they the stages get really hard you get hit one time or something you would lose a lot of HP so it's not like it's like a breeze through the whole way I've lost pretty much uh, all of my lives that they gave me and I'm only on my daily lives on my character so either I suck which I'm gonna say I've played a lot of games like these I should be pretty good at them by now or it actually gets difficult so if you're expecting some challenging PvE that you actually have to dodge and block and stuff like that you have to do that in this game or uh, you're gonna get punished so that's just something that people who, who like hard PvE uh, will be able to experience and let me tell you, I had full gear. It's not like I was under geared. I had full gear, enhanced it using the enhanced system, and still was rather challenging. So I can only imagine if you're being really lazy, uh, those can be like nigh impossible for you to beat, like without getting one shot. So um, does kind of take that into account. I feel like a lot of games are too easy for too long, and you don't have to spend too much time, you know, uh, actually gearing up and stuff like that. So I'm happy that this game kind of forces you to do that. Now you'll notice my character is using the same kind of costume as my my other one, the Paladin. This is the base costume for every class, right? This is what all default classes look like, but I gotta mention, and this is like a really huge topic that I'm just glazing over. Changing your character's appearance is done by the use of avatars, which I know a lot of games use this kind of feature, so it's nothing new. But uh, in this game, they actually don't allow the avatars to be sold in the cash shop necessarily I think only one set right now um, but really the idea is you're supposed to craft all of your avatars and let me find the button real quick what is the button for this you're supposed to craft all of your avatars right here this is the avatar crafting and here's pretty much all of the avatars uh, in the game and you get them from crafting materials uh, that are dropped in dungeons so that's their intention they're actually intending you to craft uh, all of your aesthetic appearance with drops that come from the game so they're not actually selling these things and uh, that is awesome you know games like DFO uh, don't necessarily do that and like I said 
a topic for another video, but it is just kind of incredible. Not only do you are you able to have the ability to craft whatever you want, but you can also uh, find them as drops from enemies here in these dungeons and also as uh, rewards from this chest at the end of the dungeon as well. So avatars in this game that change your aesthetic appearance in-game um, are just dropped as normal items. So it's really, really cool. You can check the auction house right now. And people are selling a ton of those because um, they're not too rare to find. And on top of that, you can also change the color of the avatar to pretty much whatever palette you can think of that is in the game using some dyes that you, can, again, can also farm for in-game. So I'm, I'm really, really happy about. And if you're a big fan of changing how your characters look in this game, I'm going to admit there's not too many costumes. There's maybe, I don't know, I want to say 15 sets per everybody, for, per every class. And... You know, they look pretty good, but if you're a big fan of customization, you can even customize your weapon color, um, your 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 avatar colors, like I've already mentioned. So if customization is a big thing, then this game has it for you, and it's not limiting at all. You don't have to spend any kind of money in-game to get the character the way you want to look. It's actually pretty awesome, so that's one thing. There's, there's a lot of things that are like that, guys, that are like... Um, I feel like better than DFO. They handle the system much better than DFO. And that might be a video in the future. Who knows? But anyway, guys, thanks for watching. There was a couple dungeons with my night classes. I will catch you guys later.